Okay, back towards your belly, yep. Okay, come back towards the end in the middle. Middle, middle, middle. Middle, keep going, keep going. Okay, now I'm gonna try the feeler gauge again. I wish I had my 2000s here, but I can see right here. Boy, that five really wants to go in there. Okay, hold that. Let me see if I nice. mic's got. All right, let's go with a three. Oh yeah. yeah. Three all day long. Let me switch to the four. Okay. There's at the four, and the four goes in with ease. Mm -hmm. All right, so. Right in between four and five. Yeah, exactly. I wish I had my machinist ones here, but luckily we had this little set. And that's why the straight edge is important. Cool to Tuesday. Ooh, these must be the free carts. Yeah. Which one is, Which one did Shane order? He ordered the big one for the shop, right? Yeah, this is switching over to Monster. Oh, I saw these in your catalog too. I don't think you showed us this last week yes, as well. No. I, oh, no, not. No, no that was a gear, gear wrench one, one right? Gear, gear wrench. one, which I sold. That's a full that one, but the best deal are the big ugly ones. Ugh. A little cushier. These things are ugly. Yeah. They look like they belong on Skid Row. Well, Ugh, go don't ahead touch and them. get on your knees. Well, get fuck. used to it. Try well, them out. Well, well. And you get some free gloves <clears throat> that way you don't get anything on your get hands. Get her done. Oh, shit. I've heard mixed reviews about this. People saying that maybe it's a little bit too tight for the neck or head. Thoughts? Uh, they have big necks and small heads. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, exactly. So, wow. <laughs> no, so I've sold five right. of them, and I've had nothing but great reviews on them. Uh, cool. Wasn't going to order any. Thought uh, kind of gimmicky. I know that Blue Point had theirs out uh, about six months before mm. Easy Red had theirs. Uh, so far, I've had nothing but rave reviews on them. Sweet. So mostly in dark shops right. where people are... Uh, <coughs> both being cheap and the shops are shitty lighting. Uh, the most recent one was that Rolex, little Paisa Mexican guy puts it on and he's like, it's great, I love it, it's great. I asked him uh, on Monday, yesterday, how he liked it and he said that he liked that he could tilt it and it kind of hold up. So if he was looking up like this, he could have it at an angle upward yeah. as well as looking down at that. I bet so interior guys it. love that shit too. So he was working on, I was in there and he was doing like some transmission stuff. Okay. So, and he had it on and was like this. So the light wouldn't go up like this, but it was up at an angle. So he was just enough over light. Here. Mm -hmm. And he said he liked it. He also had one of the uh, uh, ATD ones like that over here on the side. Oh, so gotcha. Side to side. Oh, those are nice. I don't, I don't like, know if I saw those. It last fit time. around his neck pretty well. So he yeah. said that he really liked it. Sweet. It always used more damn light, that's for sure. Oh, did Shane tell you that he got his Matco one back not too long ago? Oh, <laughs> still? Yeah. It's still in the car. It's shaped more like Man. this one, right? Yeah, I think no, so. It's, it's kind of like this one, but it's it doesn't swivel or anything. It's just a fucking. It just has a magnetic oh. base on it. That was pretty cool. <laughs> we have a three portions. I have two. Uh, Who got the new gear wrench ones too, or just the uh, precision? I, I don't. I have the precision, and then I have the old gear wrench ones. Uh, Mechanical. They had, yeah, both mechanical. Right. Let's take a look at these precisions. It's been a while since I even looked at the precision. Well, that's precision. what I have. Oh, I didn't see that. The precisions I like and precision. I is, do like precision. I got the uh, rolling torque wrench. So when we were at the show together, uh, Manisha and I, mm -hmm. and we were walking through, I talked to the precision guy, and yeah, I, I had like brought up about the them being vendors for other people, and he said. We are Snap-on's oldest vendor. That's true. We've been making corporate base. Yeah. So I mean, it says something when you have Formal had precision making their torque wrenches for a long time. Snap-on had them making their torque wrenches. So this X core, that's the pinless style, right? Correct. Fancy shit. I like those X cores. Those look pretty nice. They're cool. Uh, I wish, I hope, uh, we shall see. Come this October. 
if they're gonna make a deep version of that. Right now, Matco's the only one with a deep pinless out. I'd like to see a so mid-size, mid-size pinless X-Core swivel. Cause sometimes shallow is just a little too shallow and deep's a little too deep. So I, I like those weird sockets, you know? Speaking of which, I've been kind of procrastinating on the SAE half inch set. Shane's been procrastinating on the a half inch SAE and the stubbies. <laughs> so I figured I'd see if you had just the SAE. Uh, yeah. Like and like a deep a shallow, just the, just those. Like. Uh, yes, look down under here. So, Curinch makes a kick ass kit. I got some <laughs> From five sixteenths to one inch. That's yes. a good set. Yeah. I I heard half inch, but I just was sliding. Yeah, yeah. No, that's cool. Here's a metric and SAE jumbo set. I don't even care if it's chrome or impact, you know? Yeah, it's fair impact. Yeah, so this is a smaller set. I dig this, this 57 Look piece. At the 84 and 48 the back there. Impact one. Okay, that's metric. That's SAE. That is SAD. That's a jumbo set. That's metric. And that last one's metric. Hang on, you kind of got my eye a little bit on this smaller kit. That's three eighths. Though. That's a, just a three eighths. Yeah. Okay. So uh, they do have a chrome half inch set that's like this. We'll look in the flyer right Okay. Now. And they also make a half inch set that it looks like they may be out that they're they're searching for that's deep, shallow, uh, and SAE. Then they do but like deeps, SAE, and metric. They've got some large sets that go up uh, like to yeah, yeah. 30. 36 pieces. Oh, this is extra thin. This is like the tappet wrenches. I got the Husky ones. Is this metric and SAE? This is SAE. No, no, you're the diesel guy, bro. Bro, you're the diesel guy. Where you got it? Def disconnect. Oh, yeah. That's that's all you, man. That's right up your alley. Oh, no. And we got our new Ford certified man right here. Oh, you are so full of shit. Ford certified. <laughs> yeah. He was on the Chrysler Ford side, so now no, he can no, work no, on the no, six no, liter. No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't know who's been telling you lies. Oh, man. Oh, there's a nice set right there. E Torx. Now, these are these the impact rated E Torx in this uh, Torx E Torx? Okay. So, if you want to see what those E Torx are like, just look over a little bit further on the shelf. In the individuals, no, 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 same show. Oh, I know, I almost lost my shit. Oh, okay. All right, let's check these out. So this is the set he's talking about. If I can get it unhooked, was it velcroed in? No, it's no. bolted down. <laughs> well, I guess I'll just look at one. Well, that's nice that it goes half inch, three eighths, and quarter inch. Well, here's the deeps right here. You said, I got the gear wrench deeps right here. Or are these different? Oh, cause this is not the pin list. This is the pin style. I got you. Those are nice though. Uh, 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 uh. Pretty bright fucking light. All right, check this out, guys. Two piece double X plier set made by Gear Inch. That's a pretty nice little set. Also available on the hose clamp ones or hose grip. That's pretty cool. Oh, hell yeah. And here's the hose grip ones right here. Take a look at those. Nice. I guess buy something and get this free. Nice. 
Oh yeah, I think we've looked at these before, but definitely a wish list item right here are these flex head line wrenches for sure. In the SAE and metric, that'd be nice to have. All right, so this is the 39 piece SAE standard deep impact socket set with the shallows. Where are we going from? We go th from three eighths all the way up to inch and a half with a universal John. That's pretty freaking cool. Let's take a look. Woohoo! Look at that. That's a freaking heavy duty deal. I like that it goes up to an inch and a half. Something that's very cool for them that you'll see a lot of stop at inch and a quarter. Tell me about this shiny chrome now. Is this gonna have any kind of uh, you don't get variance? Any no, you, you really don't get any kind of wear. There is, every once in a while, there's some older versions out that will come and they don't have the shiny like a, on them. Right, like a, where was the soft ones we just picked up earlier? So I've seen stuff like this where if it's more of a hard and beat to death gray. Correct. And I've seen the extra shiny ones because even Husky tried to give their rendition, which was not an impact socket. But I just don't know what the metal is or what the coating is. They're an impact rated. I'm not sure what the coating that's getting like that, but Gear Inch has been phasing everything into this style. This specific metal. Okay. And this is all in half inch. This is freaking nice. Very nice, well put together in set. Impact sockets. Uh, it's now been a year and a few months since I've been an independent and selling these. I've only had three impact sockets that have come back and been broken. That's, so I'm like, that's, that's not good, bad, yeah. A 36 millimeter uh, that was in a set like this. Uh, and then I had a 19 millimeter. And I think it was just a bad casting. It was a little thin on one side. And I think the other one was a 22. So I've been very impressed with them. Don't seem to have any problems with them wearing badly. Mm -hmm. Wicked, wicked nice set. Uh... All right, Jeff, thanks for allowing us to jump on the see truck. Thanks for showing us the half inch set. Absolutely. And it was actually pretty cool to see the easy red light and get your thoughts and opinions based on customer reviews that you've had. So no deal. we'll see you guys, guys back in the one. house. All right, ladies and germs, boys and ghouls, children of most ages, it's time to get on out of here. Tonight's topic is going to be the importance of having a CNC straight edge. Now, this one's made by Central, which I picked up off the Matco truck some six years back but it came in handy today we're going to talk about it can you feel it we're going to talk about feeler gauges too see you guys back at the house what's going on everyone justin again as always thanks for watching my channel welcome back cheers to those of you that have your beers tuesday is over and we're into hump day now but cool tool tuesday was actually pretty damn cool if you ask me we got a chance to take a closer look at the X-Core sockets that GearWrench has come out with, a pinless style of universal. Now there was also a couple of really nice impact sockets which they've actually upgraded from their previous impact metal that they used to a newer version which I'm not sure uh, what type of metal it is nor uh, is Jeff at this point, but I will see if I can't look into it a little bit more. But I'm pretty excited about the impact sockets that they have going on for them too. That being said, it did get my curiosity going, so I had been going through Amazon and I found a nice, very nice Torx Universal SAE Metric Deep and Shallow socket set that I might just scoop up here in the coming week or two. So it's an 84 piece set, 3 8 drive. Now I know that I'm also looking for half inch, but I had to take a closer look at this one as well. The half inch set that I'm looking at is running about 110 okay roughly off of amazon and i'll put the amazon affiliate links down below to the sockets that i'm looking at as well as some of the wish list tools that i saw today on the truck this also helps kind of give me a friendly reminder of the tools that i want to purchase in the coming weeks to months but you guys know it i've said it before and i'll say it again gear wrench is a phenomenal product whether you're an apprentice a beginning tech or an advanced technician or mechanic gear wrench has some good quality products and they're coming out with newer and newer technology be it their torque wrenches be it the sockets and how they make them be it the pinless style getting away from that pin style that we all get frustrated with from time to time so i'm i'm actually pretty excited about a lot of the things that i saw on his truck today 
So I do have some wish list items, plus I have some items that I do want to get here in the coming months. Getting into today's topic, okay. A CNC precision straight edge is something that you're gonna to wanna to use. Now, I use this primarily at the dealership because for the warranty side, we had to prove that it was out of spec with a picture showing a feeler gauge slipping underneath that CNC machine straight edge and then sending it through to the Chrysler core so that way they can evaluate uh, what it is that exactly happened or what they could do to try to change it to make the overall quality of either that cylinder head or intake manifold better. Today we fell on some old school Ford F-250 and we had an uh, intake manifold leak coming from one side specifically. So in order to get a better idea, we got the intake manifold back off, cleaned it up, put that mis uh, CNC machine straight edge down with some feeler gauges and was able to find that it was between four and five. Five, just the tip barely kind of snugged in, but four slid right in with ease. So it's probably about four and a half thousandths out of spec. Uh, I had these long feeler gauges once upon a time ago. I'm not exactly sure what I did with them, but I went all the way down to 2000. So the only ones that I had uh, with me currently was the Matco ones that I picked up and I think it went down to 5000. It's lucky for me that my boss had a feeler gauge set too and his went down to 2000 and he had them from Cornwall, I think, but they were the straight ones. I like the 45 degree feeler gauges best because I don't like sitting there and trying to stab straight. You can hardly ever stab straight unless you have the super long ones where you got enough flexibility in it to where you can tuck it in. But the really short straight ones, I'm not a huge fan. I like the 45 ones or the super long ones so I can kind of tuck and slide as I go. Uh, so that's just my thoughts and opinions on feeler gauges. And if I can find any that I would strongly recommend, I'll put the Amazon affiliate link down below for you guys as well. The CNC uh, straight edge that I got, I got about, like I said, about six years back on the Matco tool truck. If I can find the same exact one, I'll make sure to put it down below for you guys as well because I have had it that long. I keep it protected. I keep the protective sleeve over it. I keep it in its box and I try to keep it within room temperature if I possibly can. But I don't want it to get damaged or warped so I always put that plastic sleeve back on it. It is something that you're gonna run into that you're gonna to need to use, whether it be for exhaust manifolds, intake manifolds, cylinder heads, and even the deck on a long block or on an engine. So if you're trying to test it out before you go ahead and step back in, make sure that it's all straight and on the up and up, which we had to do with this truck. Well guys, that's all I got for this video. Thanks as always for watching. I hope you liked Cool Tool Tuesday. I know I sure did. I found a lot of different things that caught my eye and I'm creating my new list because I always create a list of things that I've been wanting throughout the year and I kind of save them up towards the summertime because the summertime, I got a break from those holidays. You know, I don't have uh, a lot of money really to spend during the holidays, which is why I look for those hot deals when when it comes time, okay? So you got what, Black Friday, you got Christmas sales event, you got presidential sales event, and then of course you got Father's Day. So after that, there's pretty much no sales events, but it's in a weird time frame when you're constantly having to buy gifts for kids or family. So for me, the time that I really start looking for the hot deals is towards the summertime, but that's just me. Maybe you're a little bit different. Feel free to put it down below. Thanks as always for watching. Cheers to those of you who have your beers. See you guys next time. Doses.